Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the CW and the Arrowverse as a whole. We're going to be continuing our conversation about the CW potentially being sold because a new article from The Hollywood Reporter was put out the other day, and I want to discuss some of the stuff that they say. The article is titled, Will the CW be a streaming wars casualty? So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I'll leave the link in the description below to the Hollywood Report article we're going to be going over in this video. Basically, a lot of this article does go over the same stuff that we talked about the other day. However, there is some more interesting information within inside the article that talks about it potentially being a casualty of streaming wars, but more specifically about if it gets bought out by Nexstar, the company that is in talks to buy the CW, and what that could actually mean. So, so a lot of the article, as I mentioned just before, we've actually kind of gone over, so I don't want to go over absolutely everything, but I will read out snippets of the article, so this is how the first bit goes. For Viacom, CBS, and Warner Media, the deal would give them much needed cash that they need to invest in their own streaming services, Paramount Plus and HBO Max, and multiple sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that any deal was likely to include a programming agreement that would see a next star controlled CW committed to buying programming from their respective TV studios, so basically that would mean Warner Media and CBS would continue to make CW shows and Nexstar would be forced to continue making the shows. And so that is kind of the big question of this article is, what will the CW's content look like if they were to be bought out by this specific company? Because this company, Nexstar, has stakes in the CW already. Like, it has affiliations with the network, basically, not stakes. And the article continues and basically says that for Nexstar, it would be a big acquisition if they bought the CW because they don't have that national reach right now that they specifically want, especially as well as their digital side of things. And then they go on to say, sources say a notable piece of the CW deal would also be local. Next star already is a critical station owner for the Mark Pedowitz run CW, owning the network's New York, Los Angeles, Dallas, and Houston affiliates, among others. The CW has eight owned and operated TV stations of its own, including stations in critical swing state markets like Detroit, Michigan, Tampa, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, and Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, as well as major markets like Seattle, Washington, and the Bay Area. For a company that has long leaned on political advertising, acquiring those stations would mean election year advertising bounties. So basically what The Hollywood Reporter is getting at here is they're going to lean into the political side of things. And now that wouldn't affect the CW's programming, so it wouldn't affect the shows, but basically you might see like more political ads and, you know, a change of, you know, when programming isn't on, you might see more political like segments that they will include from their other affiliates that they basically own. So it's kind of confusing the way that they report it and they word it because it actually doesn't affect the Arrowverse and our specific shows as a whole, but it affects the CW network and what it shows in the time where it doesn't have scripted programming on. So basically this company is making money off of the political environment and how polarized things are right now and this would mean that the CW would somehow be a little bit more involved in that kind of world, which right now it isn't really because it's just run by Warner Brothers and CBS and they don't really have like a big stake in the game apart from, you know, a couple of news outlets that they own. But this next bit is interesting. So the Hollywood Reporter goes on to say, but for the CW it also raises serious questions and concerns about the future of its programming lineup and strategy as well as its digital ambitions. Even if Nexstar wants to have a broadcast network with entertainment programming, there is no guarantee that it ends up pursuing the same year-round originals programming strategy Pedowitz has crafted over the past few years. So even if a Nexstar controlled CW were obligated to buy programming from Warners and CBS Studios, 
there is no obvious reason that it couldn't change the programming strategy and simply lean on those studios to develop a new content pipeline so there is no guarantees that there won't be any big changes and this is just me talking like yes they may be obliged to make these shows to make The Flash and all these other Arava shows but what's to say that they aren't going to change you know the strategy of how they deploy these shows and how they promote the shows and how everything works if they were smart, they would probably continue how the CW is doing it because it works and it especially attracts a lot of attention on social media and on streaming services. Afterwards, people watch the shows and that's where the success comes from, as it's been previously reported. But if they're not smart about it, then they would change it up and maybe they wouldn't put the same emphasis that the current owners and operators of the CW are doing. And maybe they would lose some of that attention that they've got over on social media and other platforms. And it's been said that the CW and its online adventures like with their app and their website has made actually more money online than on TV with adverts. So if Nextstar overtook the CW and took over, you would definitely see them pushing that because it seems like everyone here in this situation, Nextstar, Warner Media and CBS are all looking to try and boost their profits up in their own different ways and for next hour will be yes continuing this original programming but for the sake of earning more money rather than caring about its programming like I think they see the CW as something profitable because they see how popular it is but are they going to continue to try and make these shows as good as possible or are they just going to be trying to churn them out and you know trying to support it in order for them to make money via adverts and you know potentially selling that programming to other networks and to streaming services because that is a big way that these shows in the past have made money so if somehow Nextstar gets that big control of the network and yes they wouldn't have access to programming like in terms of you know the production that would still be owned by Warner Bros and CBS they would have access to you know the whole end product and basically that's where it makes it very very profitable and they'll be able to basically spin it and advertise it in any way they see fit so it could spell bad news for our Arava shows however I'm gonna say I think they're gonna stick with what they're doing right now and the only reason I say that is because I really do think it would be completely stupid of them to kind of take a reverse turn on what they are doing right now because it's evidently quite successful and yes CBS and Warner Brothers want to make more money and that's why they're trying to sell this bigger stake in the company but they're not letting go of their production rights because they know that what they've got here is really good however as a network the CW isn't that profitable and isn't that valuable to them because they're not making a big earning but if they sell this major stake they're gonna get like a bunch of money straight up and that's gonna help with HBO Max and Paramount Plus and all their other in-house streaming platforms which when you think about it is kind of messed up like that they're selling an entire thing that so many people put so much effort into just to make some money so that they can make some more money on their own streaming networks but basically what I'm trying to get at is you're going to continue seeing the Arrowverse shows they aren't going to go anywhere for at least a very long time and I mean even right now they're announcing new pilots that they're working on like we have the new Gotham Knights show coming and they just announced Justice U which is going to be seeing John Diggle return and that is going to be led by David Ramsey and some of the guys behind Superman Lois and a couple of the other shows and obviously Greg Berlanti as well so you have to realize that even with this acquisition all of the people behind the scenes are going to be staying the same even Mark Pedowitz should still remain in charge of the CW unless he resigns or something like that which I don't really see happening basically what's just going to be happening is it's going to be acquired by another company that could be Nexstar which has been heavily reported on that most likely if it's bought out by anyone it'll be bought out by them you will just see like a slight change and maybe you'll notice a few things here and there but in terms of programming quality it's going to stay the same still going to be the same old hour of us even though the way that maybe they're distributed in the future you know on different networks is going to be a bit different 
But that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you understood the video. It's a little bit confusing with the way that it's been reported, but I think we can kind of wrap our heads around it a little bit. And if any more development comes in over the next few weeks, over the next few months, however long it takes for this to actually go through, and if it does go through, we'll be sure to continue making videos about it as we get updates. So that pretty much does it. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.